Hmm. You want a bedtime story? <laughs> okay. This one's a little scary. Not really. <laughs> it's about an alligator. It's called Snip Snap by Mara Bergman and Nick Malland. Ooh, we can see here that there's an apartment building and there's a security guard reading the paper and he's not looking out. He's not doing his job. Oh, and the door's open and there's some muddy footprints leading in to the apartment building and up the stairs and just at the edge of the page we can see a tail long and scaly and green. Mm. When the alligator came creeping, creeping, creeping up the stairs, were the children scared? They were all looking, looking around the corner, looking at the shadow of that big alligator. Oh, were the children scared? You Bet they were. They're all throwing their arms up and their faces are full of shock. Marissa tried to close the door. Ava tried and tried some more. And Jonathan didn't try at all. He just cried and cried and cried. And then he hid. See there, he's crying while the girls are pushing up against the door. And you can see the alligator's mouth trying to poke the door open. And then here's Jonathan, he's hiding behind a pot plant. I don't think that he's doing a very good job, but I could see him. I think the alligator could too. <laughs> the alligator's mouth was wide. Its teeth were long. Its jaws were strong. The children watched as it began to bite the edges of the door. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip. Were the children scared? You bet they were. They're all hiding around the corner. Look, they're so afraid. The alligator slithered, slithered, slithered down the hall and slipped into the sitting room. It swished and swooshed its tremendous tail, which was shiny and spiked and full of scales. Were the children scared? You bet they were. They're hiding underneath the piano there. The alligator's tongue was flicking. The alligator's feet were kicking. Then the alligator's mouth opened up very wide. Creak, creak, creak. As if to invite the children inside. Were the children scared? You bet they were. They're running around, throwing up pillows and plants, knocking the tables over, and they're all screaming and yelling. The alligator's eyes were flashing. The alligator's teeth were gnashing. As tables and chairs and piano went crashing. And after the sofa and the curtains were ripped, the alligator licked its lips. Were the children scared? You bet they were. They're running away. And then what did the alligator do? Did it say to the children, I'm going to eat you? Well, not exactly. But it came closer and closer and closer until... Look, it's so big, it's right up close in their faces. The children decided they'd had enough of all this scary alligator stuff. They plucked up their courage and gave a great shout. 
Alligator, you get out. And was the alligator scared? You bet it was. Ah, it's running away. It's so scared. Oh, it fell down the stairs all the way back down. Thump, bump, bump, thump. Swish, swish, swoosh. Tails flying, flapping in the air, and it's rolling down the stairs. All the way home. Look, it's gone all the way back down to the sewer. There's a manhole there, and it's crawled back inside. And the children were safe. <laughs> and that's the end. Did you like that story? <laughs> Good night, my little rain cloud. Sweet dreams. Mm.